a reboot, a refresh, a recharge in your artistic journey, it all begins with a series of small steps. I'm going to share with you four tips I've used to help me turn big picture thinking into small picture steps. Hi, my name is Ryan. Uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am an artist and illustrator from the UK. I'm actually looking for family more than followers. And if you feel like family, please feel free to subscribe and leave some comments in the channels where I can actually get to know you. Uh, so all the YouTubers are saying I should put a bonus hook at the beginning of my video. So I'm going to today. Uh, so if you stick around till the end of the video, there will be a cheaper print in it for some of you. You reboot and refresh and reconnect with your work by reconnecting with why you're making art in the first place. Art has always been my meditation, my therapy, uh, sometimes my mirror, but always an invitation for me to let go. Uh, we all move from the idea to the messy stage to the ugly stage to the nervous breakdown and then that always takes us to the last brush stroke. And sometimes we love what we made and sometimes we hate it. Your only obligation is to the muse, which is asking you to keep going on. I paint origami birds a lot because I use them in my manifestations and goal setting. I write what I want on a piece of paper and fold it into something, usually a crane or a bird of some sort. So when I paint paper birds, all I see is a collection of wishes floating around and through me into a space where they can manifest. And that was actually my first tip, telling the story of your art. Often we uh, needlessly regurgitate <laughs> uh, themes and ideas over and over and over again to the point of where they're long past their sell-by date. And then you notice or you feel like your art is becoming a parody of itself. You get bored, you feel flat, none of it feels great. So take some time to reconnect with the stories that you're telling and why you're telling them. Maybe ask yourself the question, what story is being told through me at this moment? I believe in the power of manifestation. Sometimes I think the universe is completely magic. Sometimes I think all magical thinking is just an open door to our inner child, and it helps us access the idea of our own potential unencumbered by cultural restrictions. Either way, magic or psychological trick, it has always worked for me, and has been a never-ending invitation to access delight and desire. So I do encourage you to play in that area, even if it's just to help you rediscover your dreams. And that is my second tip. What do you actually believe in? If you believe in a God, what do you think he or she might be trying to say through you? If you believe in nature or Buddha or Beyonce, what spark within you it needs to be reignited or reconnected with? Uh, you let your art breathe by sort of focusing on the parts of you that bring you to your best light. So spend time in that space so that you can really bring your best self forward. So I watched Wednesday and became obsessed, of course, and I didn't plan to make this one, but halfway through the painting, it just turned into another beautifully gothic experience. I am a semi-retired goth, too old for long leather jackets in the summer and too tired to put that much effort into a look anymore. But my taste in terms of what I like to listen to or watch have always been delightfully creepy. And that's actually my third tip. Fill your creative cup. If you watch the same movies, I know I do, if you listen to the same music, if you go to the same spaces, if you're stuck in this routine, you are limiting yourself, uh, limiting experiences to be inspired by. You have to fill your creative cup. What I did uh, was a little experiment where for 30 days, I made sure I could only listen to something that was new music, I could only watch new movies, and I made sure I left my house once a week to go to a, an adventure, something that was completely out of my routine. You have to get into the habit of filling your creative cup. I wake up each morning an hour earlier than I need to and I paint. Like all good morning routines, they tend to start the night before. I set up my space and I make sure that all I need to do is make the coffee and welcome in the day with some colour, some music and maybe my favourite self-help YouTube channels. Art is my meditation. It is my focus. And making it routine doesn't diminish the magic and special connection I feel each time I sit to create. 
And that is my fourth and last little tip for you, consistency. I think um, productivity and consistency are often interchanged and I don't think that's a good thing. I think productivity when best used is a byproduct of consistency and make sure that consistency includes self-care. Look after the artist, not just the art. Make sure that your routine includes spaces of rest and just to do nothing and just to wander and just to be in in your own energy and just to enjoy yourself so that you're not constantly having to search videos online about how to reboot your art career because you're bored out of your own mind. As you go forward, be sure to do it as gently as you can because inspiration comes in waves, motivation ebbs and flows and time is always an issue. All you have control over is what you choose. So choose yourself, then choose your art, and then choose a lifestyle that honors you both. Well, thank you for making it this far. And uh, um, as a thank you, I'd like to offer you 10 prints for 10 pounds. You haven't got to buy all 10 of them, but um, I wanted to offer my prints are normally about 25 quid. They can be a bit, depending on what they are, but they're normally uh, quite cheap anyway, but I wanted to get a little bit cheaper just for the first 10 of you who hop on over to my shop, link below to purchase. And I have chosen her. I think she uh, might be a popular one. But um, but we'll see. I said after the after that ten, she'll go back up to her twenty five. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and I shall see you soon. Well, that feels like it for this week. Um, if you feel like you found family, don't forget to subscribe, and I shall see you all again next week. I have come across these three behemoth canvases in my art studio, and these will be on the old painting block for December. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes.